Who back on the PC, and why? This is why. You know whenever AWE is involved that something interesting is probably going to happen. So here we are. Now I think this is all the versions of this game on this channel. <laughs> I think. yet. Our scouting reports are due at any moment. We believe we heard some noises we think are coming from the human boy named Jimmy Neutron in this area. That must be the area. I feel his presence. Plot a course on Earth for the town called Retroville. Aye, aye, my lord. Meanwhile. Gotta work this time. I can feel it. Darn. I was looking forward to eating that apple. I should have guessed. I needed to change the fluxing code in the magnetic pulsing sequence. Ooh. That sounds complicated. <sighs> now it's sure to work. Ready to get it and give it a try, Carl? Oh, no way, Jimmy. That looks dangerous. So I think I'll head home and do some homework or something. And there are Yokians hey, in the background Just already. Don't touch anything on your way out. Let's go, boy. Jump in the booth. <laughs> hey, boy. Look at this foil I've got for ya. <laughs> he bumped the corner. Yay! We've done it. It worked. Just a few more parts, then I'll be able to teleport anywhere, You're even right outer space. That would surely get me first place in the science fair. Oh. And menu. That's an opening, all right. Uh, so unfortunately, I cannot say yet that the uh, cutscenes have quite hit the level of, uh, so to speak, quality as we saw in some of the SpongeBob AWE games, but I always hold out hope. Music. Can I drop to 11 or something? This game seems kind of quiet. I'm not sure how quiet is it's going to be from your perspective. Unfortunately, there's no music playing right now. So I can't really look at it. I think the volume of these sound effects is fine. This game is just really, really quiet. Mentions? I don't know if I want to look at that yet or not. I might not. Pick up items. What do you think that I should have? I'm curious why those, why those are in the menu, but whatever. Miss Goddard, you're very excited. This menu, uh, though, reminds me of the main menu for Operation Krabby Patty. Just a good thing. Hello. Where are you going? Oh, this is very interesting. Why, 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 where are you going, Jimmy? How in the world do you control? Where are you going? I, I'm, I, I'm steering with the mouse, but he seems to be... in the world? Moving the mouse at all seems to make him go forwards. Oh. No, someone explain how this works. <laughs> Please. What in the world? Okay. The arrow keys work. Okay, let's never touch the mouse again while playing this game. Except until now. I need to practice. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, the scooter's still here. Ah! <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy zooms forwards. Okay, so space brings up this menu. Enter. Oh, one. Enter puts on the brakes, which is good. <laughs> Along with seeing to bring it something out. Oh, he seems to try to use a shrink ray or something. In my first instinct was try to use WSD, which was evidently not the right idea. This apparently lets us teleport places. No, I'm not trying to go there, I'm trying to stop. Ah, jeez, Jimmy! Yeah, I can run. Also, I can't go in a circle if I sidestep, that's weird. Yeah, every time I touch the mouse, he zooms forwards. Goddard, connect me to Vox, please. Can I help you, Jimmy? Yes, Vox. Have you patched a link to the telephone service so I can start teleporting locally? 
It's almost ready, Jimmy. I will display a menu inside any phone book that shows the locations we have access to. That By the way, I think Carl is touching an invention near the front door. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that soon. So can we not jump in any way? We can certainly run. What are you? Huh. Okay, so we're, we're using some UI elements that were, well, later used in Negatron. Jimmy Negatron was also by AWE, if I remember right. Is there a way to interact with things other than just using... Well, is there a way to interact with things at all? It looks like we should. I'm pressing all the keys now. Okay, that's items collected. I think that's I? Yes. Oh, it was objectives. Touching all the keys. H is help. Here we go. Mouse to move. Yeah, that makes you move all right. You just call Goddard. I want to help. Help me. No, that, that's what this help is. Insert is jump. Oh, why insert of all things? Okay, so control and and um, interval seems to be shrink. I think. How do I? How do you configure your fingers to make this work? I mean, for me, the insert key is on the right side of the keyboard at the top. Um, yeah, Jimmy moves in the air like he does in, in uh, Hello, Jimmy. Negatron as well. Wonderful. But I, how am I supposed to use the arrow keys and the insert key at the same time? This is very uncomfortable. What are you doing, Goddard? Gotta get over here. Just make some teleport next to you, apparently. Yeah, call a just make some teleport next to you. Great. Then you that brings you to what looks like the main menu, except kind of not. Uh, it looks like that's everything there is to know right now, actually. Okay, I'll, um, I guess I'll have my right hand on the arrow keys and my left hand above my right hand on the right side of the keyboard to press the insert key to jump. Is there really no other key to jump? Pressing other keys. Some of these things have multiple key bindings, apparently. There has to be some other key. Yes, shift. Okay, that's better. Now I can do it all with one with one hand. Right shift. And left shift as well. Actually that works better. Left shift to jump, arrow the keys to move. Okay. I should have read the readme. Now then, as a warning too, in case if this game happens to evolve much in the way of see no games, this game happens to evolve much in the way of serious platforming in the first. I should probably pick this up before I try to jump over this rail, shouldn't I? Let me jump down here now. Man, he just nearly died immediately. <laughs> that was a lot of damage I took just for that. I just die in the first le level now? That turbine is not rotating. Whoa! What kind of jump was that, Jimmy? I, I didn't tell him to jump, but okay. Dinosaur. Now yeah, you can climb things automatically. Interesting. That was not a lot of health. But yeah, same sound effects. So apparently they were using lots of stuff from this for Jimmy Negatron. That's interesting. It looks like this is very much... Looks like that would be a lethal drop. I don't know how to interact with things with the red arrows above them, unfortunately. I don't know an interact button of any sort anywhere. I don't remember what happens if you die in the, uh... Other games. Nothing in this case? I'd have to find out. But as I was saying... <laughs> If in these first few episodes there happens to be anything involves a lot of movement or like fancy or whatever, I might not be very good about that right now because I just spent the last two hours filing down a piece of metal with Interesting. I spent two hours 
straight hours filing down a piece of metal with a file. And it's really messed up my arm and give me a big blister on my thumb, so I'm not in a very good position to do much stuff. Ouch. Okay, I apparently cannot die here. This is weird to me. Did I ever pick up that apple? What are Darwins? That's not an explanation, Jenny. Stop it! I'm also not trying to climb on things. Stop! This looks and sounds amazing. You know, I picked up an apple somehow. Or not. The red ones are also still a thing in the game, apparently. Um, I did see there was a neutron up here, so I might as well pick it up. Oh. Well, Jimmy doesn't get to talk now, I guess. This one I apparently cannot climb up? There we go. Eh. That was not a very good job, Jimmy. Whatever. Speak. What creature? It is weird. Some just have red arrows on them, and I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. You have to find these in other levels and bring them back here. I'm not certain. Creature. Well, maybe that'll be dealt with at a later point. All right, let's make our big goal right now. Just pick up that one neutron. Um, I guess I do. This level will not teach you how to use your shrink ray and jetpack invention. Never mind the, the jetpack or the uh, shrink ray the neutron. Right toward the object you wish to shrink. Then press and hold the left mouse button. No. You will consume neutron energy each time you use the shrink ray. You must be near the object in order to shrink it. You can currently shrink Humphrey or any Yokians you may encounter. That's really specific. To use your jetpack, press and hold the right mouse button. The jetpack consumes energy from the neutron energy meter each time it is activated. The jetpack has a maximum height level that adjusts to the ground level according to what you are flying over. The flight is limited, so the jetpack will not overheat. The jetpack can also sense your height and will activate automatically to slow down any falls that would normally hurt you. I can't tell if stuff sliding around is a graphical wish or if it's intentional. Platform, then to the next platform. If you miss the higher platform, try going back to the lower one before your jetpack time runs out. Otherwise, you might fall to the ground and will have to begin again. Go ahead and try. That is very slow. Okay, that I can use now. At the very least, we can now see that we have another area unlocked. Oh. Okay, I figured that we'd be able to teleport back and forth between things like usual. Was I completely wrong about that? Granted, Negatron had issues with that too, where the game just wouldn't give you warning that would teleport you, you back somewhere that you haven't been. You know what? Can I restart this whole game? <laughs> Mode. Not really what I had in mind. New. Gotta work this time. Gotta Look at that running start. Me to Vox, okay, here we go. Let's actually do the tutorial this time. Yeah! This level will not Okay. The question is, oh yes, I can hold the jump button to fly. Awesome. All right. Uh, 
has a nice turning radius. Alright, that's gonna take some getting used to. That was not something in Negatron. Yeah. Jenny takes a long time to stop, too, as he starts moving. Because the hard part is. There's a gap between these two platforms, and as Pox said, my maximum height depends on what I'm above. So, I can't. I stop ascending once I'm actually between the two platforms, so I need to stay on this platform, ascend. There we go. Guard. The guard button just makes him teleport right next to you, which is a little strange. Yeah, we're probably going to have another situation in, in this game. I'm trying to stop moving. We're gonna, probably going to have another situation in this game like Jimmy's house back in Nikashron. Unfortunately. I suspect it's going to happen at some point. Yeah, yeah, see, I, see, I stopped gaining height because I'm not above any platform anymore. That is really awkward. Why is it that your max height depends who... Your max height depends on what's directly beneath you at each moment, as opposed to just what height you started flying at. The latter sounds to me like a better way to do those. Look at this. So as it is, I have to stay in place, gain height, and then go forwards. Really awkward and counterintuitive. Of course, as always in these games, Goddard just taunts you by flying around everywhere on his own. Here we go. I need you straight away. I'm not really sure what the point of Goddard being near me is right now, but. For some reason, I did not see that platform there. I didn't see the green one. I cannot go backwards, apparently. That's interesting. Actually, I keep going forward like this. There we go. If you get a really long start, and then you can still keep ascending as you approach your destination. I see I'm descending, even though I'm using my rocket. You really do have to be patient with this. Yeah. Also, yeah, Mac uses his rocket if you fall long distance. That's interesting. At least I don't constantly die from fall damage then like I did in some other games. But, ugh. That is really, really awkward. I guess the idea of the tutorial is to get used to that awkwardness, though. I'll at least finish this before I end the episode. If I could at least move backwards, or even just stop moving while I'm in the air, I cannot slow myself down if I'm moving forwards. In the air. Only on the ground. <laughs> Jimmy, I didn't want you to go forwards there. Why? He started moving forwards on his own. I was trying to sit still and then jump. Just like this. Or you can actually save some time by going across multiple platforms at once. Because again, whether you can ascend just depends on where the ground is beneath you. Whoa, whoa, Jimmy, why did you... I didn't expect him to just suddenly, one, stop using the jetpack, and two, jump. And then again, I tried to stop afterwards, but this guy cannot stop running once he starts. It's a good thing that I did this tutorial, since I almost skipped it. It's 
stop. The question is, can I stop near my land? Yes. Okay. I don't know why he has to take so long to stop moving. Jimmy has tank controls. He, he really does move like a tank. He takes forever to start and stop moving, too. Okay, so right here, this confused me the first time, because I didn't see the... Just because of the angle, I didn't see the screen platform here. quickly enough to, to do those two platforms both at the same time. Stop it, Jimmy! Again, he, he keeps moving forwards once he lands. It's really hard to get him to stop. At least you can get him to stop, unlike when you're using the jetpack where you cannot stop moving forwards. For some reason. I guess anything with a red arrow above it is just something you can pick up, or otherwise something will happen automatically, if appropriate, when you reach it. I see like some things that were places to put things in the like instead, though. Okay, this one's orange, this one's special. Too. That's very nice. Or if that's permanent or not. Alright. So I imagine that's everything there is to do in the tutorial then. I saw the exit just now. Can I hit things through walls? Seemingly not. This is the way to stop immediately, though. In fact, I should have used that when platforming. I should have used the fact that turning this thing on actually stops you pretty much instantly. I'll need to remember that. Anytime I'm going to stop, there you go. Although it might use energy outside of this one area. Which might be a reason to not do that. Talk to Carl. That's my list. Alright, well, well, we'll talk to Carl next time, I guess. Bye, everyone.